Hello and welcome to Minute of the Apes, the podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Apes movies. Uh, I'm your host Richard, and joining me as always are my co-hosts Sean and Todd. Hey, Hello, Richard. This time. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a little bit. Of, yeah, yeah. You, you, you weren't around. you weren't quite ambiguous about us anymore. You're actually accepting us as your uh, co-host now. It's been a long week. It, it's Thursday. Yeah. I'm getting excited about the weekend, so I'm thinking about that. You know, uh-huh. uh, not muttering, through, just stumbling through things. <laughs> Uh, so, Sean, where are we at? What men are we doing? Uh, 79 with Zayus wanting to know who and what Taylor is and ends with Taylor supposing he's a mutant. And we've got two living humans, two confirmed dead, shrewdness of apes, and a gaggle of humans. And we are at the uh, uh, Casa de Todd. So if you hear any barking or yep. kids or doorbells, we're, we're... My humble abode, and, and, and we're just going to flat out put it out there. We were hungry, so we ordered We're waiting lunch. for lunch to show up, yes. So there may come a point where you say, hey, everybody, hang on, but we'll, we'll, right we'll edit it for you. Yes. Exactly. All right, so we ended the last minute with Zayas having called Taylor in to make a proposition to him. Yes. So he doesn't get uh, emasculated. <sighs> So right off the top, and this goes kind of back to what I asked the last time, what is it that Zayas wants from Taylor? And I'm beginning to get the feeling right now, he doesn't even know what Taylor is. He doesn't have a clue. Yeah, because it, um, he comes up and he, in the, if you can read the script here, Richard, he asks about where Taylor comes from and Taylor mm-hmm. says he mm-hmm. comes from where? Fort Wayne. To which Dr. Zayas says? A fort. A fort that's you chose bel- a name that was belligerent. So why are forts belligerent? Maybe maybe they're a, more of a pacifist group. Or are there other cities out there? Oh, are, are there other ape colonies out there that are in forts and stuff like that that are that's actually a good idea. Been attacking before? Why is a fort a problem for him? You know, the the question you're asking really hard to answer, having watched the minutes that come right, up. right, it is. Uh, Sean is watching these minute by minute, so yep. he's not necessarily following the, and haven't never seen them before, not right. just minute. Correct, before. correct. Uh, so he says, "Tell me who you are and what you where you came from, and no veterinarian will touch you." veterinarian yeah so and doesn't he almost implore animal. him it's not just tell me who you are but it's more like a tell me who you are it's he is definitely asking he doesn't know he, and up he to this point believe, I, he's almost like seriously it's you and me now right. i'm gonna keep you safe if you just tell me what's your real story please just tell it's me what's like your real a hostage story. taker kind of situation you i know? know you're not from outer space for some reason you can talk just let me know right. and we can figure this out just you and me Cornelius and Zira, they've, I mean, they've hung themselves, but you will be okay if you just tell me really where you come from. Right. I told you the truth of that hearing of yours. Zayas, you lied. Where is your tribe? Dun, dun, dun. A tribe of talking humans. Yeah. He's thought something else yes. is out there. Yes. So, and all this time that we've assumed that Zayas knew everything, that he had a clue of really what existed, this moment, and, I, and I'm going to be honest. I don't remember this moment from all the times I've seen the film. I never kind of thought of it this way that he didn't know. Yeah, he, that he's trying to actually get information from him. It's like, you know, when you watch these films so many times, you just sort of push it all Makes together and condense it. Yeah. yeah, and you just, that's the way I, it, I think he believes. But in this moment, it tells me he doesn't know. He doesn't know what, it, you know, exists beyond a certain realm of possibility within his own world. And he's scared. Maybe. He says, uh, um, my tribe, Taylor says, my tribe lives on another planet in a distant solar system. And Zay says, enough in your lies. Some truth slips through. That mythical community you come from is supposed to come from Fort Wayne. And then Taylor says, what about it? A fort. What is really fascinating about him actually bringing up a fort is that Zayas has been analyzing the things that Taylor has written mm-hmm. or said. And trying to find some commonality as to as to what Taylor's origin really is, and a fort to him describes a city, a location, an encampment, a tribe, an encampment, an aggressive thing, possibly yeah. aggressive, and power that yeah. you may not understand, possibly aggressive. I mean, when he says unconsciously he chose a name, it was belligerent. So it's actually kind of kind of smart for the scriptwriters to have used the the choice of the word Fort Wayne. Yeah. Indiana is where yeah. he's from, so that Zayas can then kind of seize on that moment and see Fort. It has an innocuous nature to us because we think of Fort just, Wayne, Indiana. We yeah, just think a of a city. city. But no to them, military, it's something different. It's, yeah. it's, it's a military, yeah. a tribe, uh, something That's a good catch. I didn't, even, I didn't think of that. Why does Taylor think that uh, Zayas is actually going to stick to his word? Hmm. I mean, 
Uh, is he so desperate at this point that he's just hoping he will? I will. I will tell you this without going into the future minutes, which I, I keep like keep trying to do. I, every, yeah. every minute, I threaten <laughs> that we could go into future minutes. I don't believe Zayas at all. T- him asking Taylor for information, you know, I'm not gonna have a veterinarian touch you. Yeah, you tell you'll me be these just information. Fine. I'm like, be bullshit. I mean, you've had me beaten. You've had me ca- captured in ropes. You've been trying to whip me. You've had me gagged. Right. And you're you're wanting so desperately to get this information. If well, we're we're, completely... we're assuming that Taylor's smart, but if you assume that yeah, Taylor's well, smart, right, right. you look at this and you think, to Richard's words, bullshit. Yeah, you, you're you're begging me, you're imploring with me. Why is that so important to you? What do you need this information for? And, and if I give it, you this information, you why, then have to get rid of me. Why you're just going to let me free? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're, no, not gonna, that's not you're not going to happen. You're not going to emasculate me and brain surgery me? Yeah, I think on. Zayas just wants to emasculate him. <laughs> he just wants to put it to his... Uh, he's going to the uh, Robert Rodriguez, the uh, movie where he's got all the balls and the... I want... <laughs> the you know what I mean? Um, the the uh, grindhouse movie. Oh uh, yeah, where he has this <laughs> container of nuts. There's nothing like trying to watch Sean remember what the name of a movie is. Is he just starts using his hands on the podcasting? <laughs> Death I, I, uh, Planet Terror. There I couldn't remember go. it either. You were saying anyway. Go ahead. I just I, I just I almost wish Zayas had had a bigger ask. Uh, or, or, or I'm so glad, glad you said ask because I <laughs> thought you said <laughs> Zayas had a bigger ass. Anyway, <laughs> he's got, he wants a, a baboon butt on exactly. him where it's nice and red I and blue. Love monkey behind. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. I, I, I just Taylor doesn't. I can. I would not believe anything that. Zayas oh no! Is at this point, at this no. Particular point. I, I mean, would not granted, be getting... granted. Taylor's like you know, uh, manacled and dejected and thinking life is over. And they uh, like, Hey, just give me this information. You know, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. It's not going to happen. Hey man, we're cool. But that may be, that may be why it starts off with the scene with Zayas being so calm mm-hmm. and relaxed. But this is where he starts to actually get, Zayas starts to get angry. He starts to mm-hmm. kind of build the tension back up again. Where were you nurtured? Exactly, exactly. So he asked that. Yeah, you chose a name that was belligerent. Where were you nurtured? Which is a very strange way to say where were you born or right. where were you raised or anything. But like that. we're also assuming, you know, yes, they speak English. Yes, they apparently write English, but they th- speak French too because it's a fiance. The, the, the colloquialisms of a of Simeon City may be a instead of saying different. raised, they say nurtured. It, Maybe it also, it also may have been. The 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 language of this particular era because this could movie be is a little bit be. older, but, but I thought the same thing, common. Sean. Yeah. I, I I'm kicking you in the balls to kick you in the balls, but mm-hmm. I I thought the same thing. I thought nurtured. Yeah, yeah. So so he says, where were you? Where were you nurtured? And Taylor's like, I take it you don't believe the prosecutor's charge that I'm a monster created by Zira. Um, and Zayas was like, certainly not. You're a mutant. What I find weird about him saying you're a mutant is. Is Zayas saying he believes in evolution? Like it, I guess he's not saying they they sprung from one another. It was just so unusual. Taylor says, um, "I take you don't believe the prosecutor's charge that I'm a monster created by Zira." And Zayas goes, "Certainly not. You're a mutant." Well, well where did he come from? I mean, so, like, so is this where they cross over into the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Yes. And we have Professor X show. <laughs> yes. Or I guess yeah. maybe not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, yeah. what is his mutant power? Bitchiness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think this is owned by Fox, so we're not going to see oh, Planet okay. of the Apes. And, I don't know. I just well, hang was, on. Disney might buy Fox. We'll find out. It, it's just okay. Oh well, the next line Taylor says that's exactly what Zero and Cornelius claim. You're talking heresy, Doctor. And Zaya says, "Of course." And the note in here is he's smiling when he says it. So Zaya is maybe not evolution, mm-hmm. but he's willing to at least entertain the idea that. There is a possibility a that possibility. for some strange reason, somebody might be able to be more intelligent. Humans can talk and talk in ape language and use familiar customs and things. It's just, I don't know, just Zayas is kind of exposing what he knows. He's just kind of letting that, us know. There might be more out there that we don't know about. Right. Why would he... Why would you call somebody a mutant unless you thought that there was even the abil- the possibility that something like this could happen? So, I don't know. Yeah, and he's so dismissive of everything that's about, you know, you don't think that 
Zira did this to me. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. He he, th- he has no respect for her abilities to have done True. this. True. Yeah. Yeah. That he automatically thinks it's a mutation, I, which leads back again. He he has thought that the humans had the ability to mutate into this or mutated away from it, whatever it may be. Yeah. What does he know? Yeah. It, it comes back to one. Even as Zayas clears up the mystery of what does he know, what is he thinking, what does he want, he creates more mystery because he knows there's at least something that planted something in his head that makes him think this could happen. And if it does, it's horrifically dangerous. Yeah. So uh, Zayas says, uh, you're a mutant. And, you know, I think in a previous minute I had, I had suggested that maybe he had actually been taking the human population that was out there, preventing them from speaking somehow through surgery or whatever. Zira says she can't find any reason why they can't talk. Um, but this kind of leads me back to the idea that he's not been manipulating the population that's out there. Yeah. That he's not actually involved. He just, he's just can accept the fact that Taylor is... He has theories or whatever. his own thing. Yeah. I mean, where, where do we get into this particular conversation the start of this minute was for as religious law religious law as 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 uh religious you no know, as uh as i've gotten this sense that zaya is concerned about religion as law this was remarkably devoid of any of that that crossover there was he he at no point did he bring in his belief system into this he just kind of his religious belief system, he kind of just rejected it. He's just talking literally about where do I find more like you? But I, I also wonder, you know, and, and I don't want to offend any religious people that listen to this, but the, or, it, the origins of religion, so many of those laws and those those things that you read in that come from the fear of something. If I do this, this will occur. Somebody ate something and it made them sick, so now we don't eat that anymore. And so we build a law into the religion that says we can't do this. So it seems as though everything of Zaius is fear-driven. It's, you know, he, he builds the folklore. He, he controls it so that it suppresses the things he fears. So what is it that he fears? I mean, it, might it just, comes back to what does he fears about these might humans? might just be, again, uh, the fear of change, the, the fear of the new. True. Because if you, the society, uh, I can't remember the exact quote, uh, but um, people that are in power that see people that don't have power as having equality see that as them losing rights rather than people yeah. who weren't equal being made equal. So if he sees humans as potentially equal to apes, it's not them gaining rights, it's him losing something. And, and I've wondered that. Is that what he fears? <clears throat> Whatever he may know, did it have anything to do with potentially what power did humans have before pre- them? preceding them? Them? Were they Were they equal at one time? What was it? And is that what he fears is them reassuming power? So maybe we'll find out that, that would, that would suggest that he knows more that there's something else in the scrolls that we're not privy to at this point that lets him know. And I kind of, and I kind of think that that's possible, but we also, it, Zayas becomes this con- con- conundrum. Thank you. Conundrum. Hey. I, I see. I stumbled there. Uh, he becomes a condominium. <laughs> yes. He becomes a condominium, but he, <laughs> he becomes the conundrum at this point because he's, He's immediately saying he's dismissive of Cornelius and Zira. He's controlling the whole thing. He, we think he has this machinations right. working to control this trial, yet he doesn't know what to think. He's like, is this, you know, where are you from? What, where's your, your tribe? He does mention tribe in this moment. Right, right. right. Yeah. So he's afraid. He, maybe, maybe the scrolls mention that there's something beyond the forbidden zone. And, and, you know, just like if you look at the origins of the Bible, that there were books of the Bible that they say were taken from it. Did he take something from the scrolls so that no one could ever think beyond that? So when he's asking Taylor, you know, um, a fort, you chose that name was belligerent. He says, you know, you're a mutant, uh, basically kind of trying to figure out where he's coming from. It is he concerned about a culture is he concerned about war is he concerned about uh changing his position of power because if this becomes out there he won't actually have any ability to use the scrolls to scare people like there's like i don't i'm not really sure what his what he wants at this point and and i think that's exactly it we don't know his motivation about wolverine showing up (laughs) 
But maybe it is war. Maybe it's that we aren't ready for that. You see how many times, especially a, a film that was made in this era with Vietnam going on, the idea of someone, you, you, you have a fort, hang on, you're, you're amassing strength that I don't have. Is that the fear? Are they, they trying to interject those very ideas? 